Okay, Morgan, thank you. Switching gears a bit now, we're going to talk about deer hunting. And exactly. Matt Evans is here now, and I understand you learned some new tips today. Yeah, I did. I learned some new tips at the Missouri Deer Classic. And, and hunting in Missouri is, is a tradition in a lot of families, at least it is in mine. I know you're mm -hmm. not a big hunter, Dan, but I'll tell you what, the Deer Hunting Classic mm -hmm. had more to offer than just deer. The Missouri Deer Classic has signaled the end of deer season for thousands of Missouri hunters for the past 28 years. This year, the Deer Classic set a record with around 10,000 hunters and outdoorsmen coming to the event. Some organizers credit how deer hunting is a tradition in Missouri. The family aspect of it, some of these families, you know, that is their, their one time a year they get together and get to see, you know, their uncle and their brothers and things like that. They make the point to get together. And hunting is so important to some people's families also for the meat that it provides. Well, it's called the Missouri Deer Classic, but take a listen. <laughs> yeah, that's a duck and a turkey call. The Deer Classic has diversified, attracting outdoorsmen of all kinds, but it's still a place for people to come and swamp big buck stories. Terry Hoyt took down the biggest buck ever shot in Rawls County this season, scored at 222. All of a sudden, I looked out of the corner of my eye, and I, there's this great big monster standing there with I just saw one side and I got lucky enough to get a shot off. Hoyt also had two other deer at the Classic this year. One he shot in 2011 and the other in 2010. But his big buck is the one with the nickname. The deer's got a name, they call him Freakazoid. Hoyt says it'll probably be pretty hard to get a deer bigger than Freakazoid next season. Organizers at the Missouri Deer Classic say they are already looking forward to next year and possibly expanding the event to three days.